Okay, we're gonna go over uh, push-ups here and just some uh, technique stuff on push-ups and some strategy for the event. Um, the first thing about uh, push-ups is, um, uh, just go ahead and do a couple there, Jordan. Uh, one thing you notice is that his feet aren't close together. You can have your feet up to a foot apart. Um, it's up to you, but don't keep them close together. A little bit spread out, makes you a little bit more stable. Um, go ahead and get back down on the Jordan. You notice where his hands are. His hands are just about shoulder width. They're not super wide. You want to keep them fairly close. You want to don't get wide like that. You want your hands about shoulder width. And then uh, go ahead and do a push-up. And notice where his elbows are. His elbows are close to his body. They're not spread out from his body, not uh, chicken winged out. You're much stronger if your elbows are close to your body. In terms of strategy, what we recommend doing is when the, um, the instructor or the, uh, um, the coach, whoever, says go, to do to just knock out sprint and get as about as many as you can, but don't go to complete failure. Stop when you have four or five rep, uh, reps in the bag, and you'll notice how uh, Jordan's twisting his shoulders in and out. They allow you to raise your butt or lower it down, whatever's best for you. We find twisting the shoulders in and out is the best way to rest, and then start doing sets of uh, three to five, and then rest. Don't go to failure, and then knock out three or five more. If you need to, you can go down to one at a time, but just try to keep on going. You can really, as you go through uh, the progression, you can really build up quite a bit of endurance. All right, thank you very much.